Grand Rising, Scorpios, and happy birthday to you. Welcome back for another Love, Vember Love reading. I hope this video finds you guys doing absolutely phenomenally amazing. So you got some beautiful energy here, Scorpios. It's like, this is the season for love, and I guess pretty much anything you can believe that you can have here. You just got to put that work in, Scorpios. If you're ready, if you're willing to put that work in, then you can have it. Now, this is a very, very intense connection that is currently surrounding you. I feel like most of you Scorpios, you're going to be in a relationship during the holidays. Some, some of you guys are already in one, while others, there's an opportunity coming your way. Now, look, all, all I'm here to do is to encourage you what Spirit showed me and to show you what the energy is. You're going to have to either accept it and put the, put the energy in, meaning that you're going to have to make sure your thinking is right. You have to also be doing your inner work. Once again, I can't stress this that enough. But check it out. It's like whatever this situation is for some of you guys, if you find yourself going through the same lesson, it's your same soulmate because y'all keep doing this. And I feel like this is no different. You're going to, it's just something dealing with your person here. Because it says, we reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. So this is definitely someone that you have entertained in another life over and over and over again. Isn't that something how, if you believe in that, but I'm telling you what these cards say now. So this is someone here who you have a very, very strong, intense spiritual connection with. And you're going to keep on agreeing to have these relationships where they're going to be challenging because you're only here anyway for the lessons in it. So, but, but when you get down here, you forget, you know, you forget that it's just a lesson because it start feeling so real. <laughs> you be like, what? Ain't no way in the world I agreed to this. But what if you did here? What if you did? Because I feel like you did. I feel like we all did because I feel like it's deeper than what we are aware of. So definitely past life that there's a strong connection here. Someone is, someone is, someone is being led to you and you're, I feel like you guys are being led to each other because your next card here is signs. It says, watch out for signs, uh, leading you to true love. See, and then look, the true love card came out. See, see, and it's going to definitely be someone that you're going to feel an instant soulmate connection it says true love. It says true love comes when you least expect it. But it's definitely going to be someone you're going to have a very, very strong soulmate connection. You know how you just feel like you've known them forever? And look, and then you have power. I mean, you got respect and power. It says respect your relationship. So I feel like what Spirit is saying here, because your next card is power. It says, the power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. But the only way you're going to draw somebody to you like a magnetic person, you got to look, this is, this is not just for a current relationship. This is kind of like Scorpio's love, a 101, boo. This is what it is. This is an education love reading in November for the beautiful, amazing birthday of Scorpios, okay? Shout out to my new boss moderator uh, over here. It's going to be Dr. Love. Uh, it's going to also be Kimberly Michelle if she so chooses because she's always over here. I love you guys. Uh, so check it out here. It says, respect your relationship. Now, this is what it's saying. If you are currently in a relationship with someone, but it's rocky, instead of thinking about all of the bad things in the relationship, respect your relationship, continue to respect that person, give them the same love and, and love and nurture and energy you once did before you got pissed off. Because, I mean, it's almost like, and, and look y'all, this is, this is humbling for me because I'm, I'm constantly reteaching myself. I'm constantly having to humble myself. Now, this is real. Like I said, it's a real one-on-one. I'm constantly having to uh, recognize where in some of my relationships, I'm too much. So you're going to have to respect your relationship. If you really love it and if you really loved it once upon a time, then even when things may fall apart or start being tested, you still can treat that relationship with the respect that it deserves. And I'm just saying, and vice versa, because if you do that, 
That power is going to draw this person to you. You can draw them in. For some of you guys, this is maybe what you're doing or needing to do. Because you also have dreams. See? I feel like for some of you guys, there might be a real, real deep, I mean, I'm talking about a real depth conversation here. It says, share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. Followed by, you might be about to be surprised, see? It's just going and going and going. But right now, your relationship, I feel like it's being tested. And you're and y'all may be failing, all right? <laughs> so let's see for Scorpios. Happy birthday to you, boo. I left the gym today. I got up this morning. I took me some cold medicine and, whew, I slept so good and I got up so early, but it would be, it'd be so cold and I know I don't need to. And I started to take a bath this morning. I'm like, don't you take no bath and go. I think it was like 50 degrees because it's just like unseasonably warm for it to be November. But then I remember this ain't winter. This is the fall season. And it, it, it's like, it's, it's like that very perfect wedding. I mean, uh, I just said wedding for some of y'all. You could be going to a wedding here. Look. Because I did see wedding card. Did I see wedding? I see surprise and I see tested and I see marriage and bond. But this is the ideal weather when you can wear a nice uh, sweater, some nice jeans. You know, this is jeans and your little cute booties. Y'all wear booties? Those low cut boots or the knee cut? Look, I like my boots, all right? Uh, but yeah, this is the time of season for it. But yeah, I got a chance to go work out and I just listen to my... Um, to my music, something that's going to feed your soul because that's what it's about. I challenge you, Scorpios, to say certain words of affirmation. Give yourself 21 days and constantly repeat something beautiful. And the Spirit showed me that. I'm going to tell you this. Um, challenge yourself to do this for yourself for 21 days and watch your life change. That's especially if you're having a hard time forgiving, if you're having a hard time dealing with things that may have not went not so good in the past because the way you feel is gonna the way you feel and where you view is gonna de determine um, either reconciling or meeting someone new. All right, but look at you showing up, girl, oh boy. In the nine of pentacles, yeah, yeah. Is that a flying, somebody may be flying all over the world. So this is independent, this is single. This is a good catch here. This is self-sufficient here. But you know that nine of pentacles, can, you could be very, very lonely too though, you know. This is your overall energy, the nine of pentacles. Look, the high priestess. Could be dealing with a Pisces, the devil. Ooh, y'all in these de Ooh, no wonder. The devil, Capricorn. The, ooh. <laughs> I didn't, ooh, wow. Okay, so you got the Nine of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the devil, the Emperor, the Empress. Page of Wands. Wow. The Ten of Cups. Temperance. Temperance. And the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Underneath the bottom is the Nine of Wands. With the Knight of Swords. The Six of Pentacles. The Hierophant. Wow, the nine of cups in the reverse. Someone may be doing a lot of drinking here lately. Check it out, Scorpios. Now, like when I be riding to the, um, it's like that's the only time, I guess I could go online, but <laughs> I'm going to throw this question at you. Because she has some very, very intrigue, but I feel like men come up with crap like this, okay? So I have a, I have a, a Scorpio reply, I'm just saying. So on Didi, on the more, Didi in the morning, I don't know if y'all listen to her channel. You know, she got all her crew and they always throwing at them, you know, people polls to find out people's perspectives on it. So this particular question that she threw out to the audience was, if a wealthy person came to you and your husband or you and your, let's say you and your, your husband, husband or your, your girlfriend or a relationship, and he um, offers you $2 million to sleep with you, would you accept it or would you decline it? And I'm telling you, y'all, most of the men, 
most of the men would accept it. They were saying stuff like, well, baby, you know, you know, it's for the betterment of the family. You know, we, we're doing this for the family's highest good. And, 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 you know, they was laughing, but they were serious. E even one of them said that he was going to leave his bank account. <laughs> he was going to leave his bank account number on the dresser, you know. And so all the men was just laughing. I'm like, wow, that made me think that. So in other words, most of these relationships are in relationships that if they could do better, they would do better. <laughs> it's kind of like what Cap Williams said. You know, he said, I know you can't say it now, lady, but so, some of the men y'all in here with is stepping, stepping up the stepping stone. <laughs> you need them till you can do better. So it just makes me see like these relationships, they're not really together because they're just so happy. And this was their first choice. They're really together out of codependency, out of some type of necessity, out of because they need something out of the other person here. But with this nine of pentacles here, it may be that two bosses here are coming at each other or standing in their power and both of y'all are single here. And so they were just laughing at that because you got the nine of pentacles with the emperor and the empress. I'm like two people ain't backing down. Ooh, but, but the Nine of Pentacles, underneath the Nine of Pentacles is the Emperor. Underneath the High Priestess is the Empress. So we already know that the feminine energy is tapped in spiritually while the masculine is depending on their money and their wealth. But at the same time, I feel like... So this is this was my response when I when I heard that, that, that poll about, you know, would you do this for $2 million? And all of the men talking about, you know, hell yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, you know, we need that money. And so I thought about it and I said, well, if it was up to me, knowing me as a Scorpio in a relationship with somebody here, so clearly we not on the same accord because he agreed for me to do this. Now, I, w I would say no if it, if it, you know what I'm saying? If they came to me, the feminine man, I'd be like, hell no, you better move, you better die. You know, I would say all kinds of stuff. But if my man say yes <laughs> to, you know, me having to do with that person for the $2 million, this is what I would do. After we do what we going to do, I would get to my man who said yes. And I was like, you know what, baby? I've been thinking about this. You know, this has really did something to me. <laughs> I think I need some time alone. Well, no, baby, I can't give you none of this money because you didn't put in that work. Now, see, I had to work for this. And... I'm thinking that maybe I need some time alone because I really don't know you. <laughs> I really don't know who you are. You were giving me up. So in you giving me up, I have a fresher perspective with me and my two million. <laughs> I'll be thinking about all the crap he done did. Man, I'm like, we need some time apart. <laughs> and no, 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 I don't owe you anything because you did not do the work. And that's how we would do that. But what would you do? Would you, would you allow your person to do that for that $2 million. And doesn't it say a lot about these relationships based on these answers? Once again, most of all the men <laughs> said, yeah. Okay, but the women said, no. <laughs> but then Diddy in the morning, she did say something like, so first of all, I'm going to ask them, which one of us do you want? Do you want me or the man? <laughs> I'm saying, do y'all remember that, uh, that movie, Indecent Proposal? It, it was a real movie. And I think, remind me if y'all remember that movie. Did she did she fall in love with that man? Because I think she ended up leaving her husband. <laughs> you see how that's choice, that's picky? You you allow your woman because you think that, you know, okay, well, you know, it's nothing. You know, her feelings are not going to be in it. You know, she's going to get this money for the betterment of us. <laughs> but this is something she has never experienced, a tycoon or multi, multi-millionaire. Because he didn't just take her straight to the, he whined her, he dined her, he bought her beautiful clothes. Man, this is like a Cinderella story. By the time they did what they did, because I think they did it by the time she got back to her husband, I think. <laughs> I think it was over. All right, remind me if y'all seen that movie. Um, what was it? Indecent Proposal, okay? Because it was indecent, but somebody played on somebody's... Uh, need you know they say when you get needy you don't know what you're gonna do so yeah somebody risked their marriage i think it was a, i'm about to go back and watch that somebody risked their marriage for that because once she got a taste <laughs> it's like and you know he couldn't compete i think she gave him some of that money she was like look babe i'm gonna give you some of this money because i don't want to break you down too hard but you know what i don't know it's kind of like again that movie what was it long came molly 
at something along came Molly. Is it Molly? Is it, who was it? An, uh, Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> when he took his wife on that on that on that cruise, and when he was so <laughs> being so funny, and he trusted that old fine instructor with his wife, and when he came back, he saw too much. He called him, and he, <laughs> she was like, "What? Well, we're we in love." She, he said, "You in love already?" <laughs> She said, well, it's complicated. It's like, what? It was just so humiliating. I'm just saying stuff like that. You better know if you, you better, you, re you really need to know who you with because that could backfire here. You end up telling your husband, all right, husband, they want you. You know, it's a woman. She wants you and he end up leaving her. Man, but yeah, I'm just talking about you. Like I said, you know, a man thought of that. But what if the woman, what, what if they want the woman and she don't want them no more? Because that's what I would do. If you if you say yes, boo, I'm gonna, me and my two million finna come. And I'm going to see what's up. <laughs> I'm like, was it good for you? Because I mean, I mean. <laughs> so anyway, don't come for me. So you got the nine of pentacles. You have the eight of pentacles in the reverse. So you are single with someone, but there is such a strong, it's like, it's like a push and pull because you got two very, very strong energies here. Everybody in their corner, everybody know their worth. Everybody brings a lot to the table. There is a lot of wisdom. There is a lot of uh, spirituality, but there's a lot of egos. And it's almost like, and see for some of y'all Scorpios, if y'all already in a relationship, spirit's telling you don't say nothing. Keep your, keep your cool because I feel like you got the upper hand because it's like it drives somebody crazy that you don't talk to them. But, but at the same time, they're, they're arrogant. They're arrogant because they are wealthy or, or it's always more, almost like somebody feels like they're better off on their own. But this person's in between. But then again, it could be somebody coming to you to offer you something real here. It could be the person of your dreams. I feel like you guys are already bound together with this devil card. You already bound together with this person, Scorpio, because y'all have been doing this lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. Now, here we is again. Now, what you gonna do? Because for some of y'all, this your true love anyway. So let's see. Let's start off with the devil. Why is the devil here for Scorpios? Why is the devil here? Capricorn. This is addictions. This is uh, dark, dark energy. This is, it, it's like, but look, see, and think of that nine of pentacles here, see? I feel like somebody's been stubborn and set in their ways. Look, they go to ten of swords, four cups, four of wands. Ten of swords. I feel like this was a, 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 a very intense connection here. I feel like it had some high, some big highs and some little lows. A lot of highs and a lot of lows here. Ups and downs is what I'm saying. But through it all, someone really, I feel like is not happy. Somebody's not happy with what is going on or what has already went on. Because somebody may miss the connection that, they, that you guys used to share or what you guys can have. But once again, you can know we're in a time where... People may not ever, ever tell you, but I feel like they're going to tell you. I just feel like there's some communication that's going to be had, but I feel like it's going to be open and honest communication. This is why Spirit is telling somebody to respect your relationship. Because sometimes people are put in our life to help us. But with that emperor right next to this empress, it's almost like you both are, it's like both of y'all are scared of each other. It's like both of y'all are very, very powerful in your own right, but y'all are afraid of each other. And the reason why you guys, I feel like, are afraid of each other is because y'all relationship and the energy is so deep. Y'all have a deeper connection than, than you see physically. Because it could be a Leo. There go the sun card. So it's like both of y'all may be holding y'all ground. So let's see what's going on with the emperor and the empress. What's up with the emperor for Scorpios? Now, you could be the masculine or you could be the feminine, but this is definitely... Some type of um, past life relationship where over and over and over again, there's going to be some type of connection here. Why is the emperor here for Scorpius? Clarify the emperor. Aries. <clears throat> Queen of swords. So you could be dealing with a air sign. Someone here who was feeling left out. Oof. Whether it's a masculine or a feminine. For some of you masculine Scorpios, you got you a hard woman that's trying to act hard here. 
And the reason why she's trying to act hard is because she does not trust. She's not tapped in spiritually. That's for you masculines. If you're in this emperor energy, could be a Scorpio. Because someone is not seeing something clearly or there's some miscommunication here. <clears throat> now, for you feminine Scorpios, you, you, you coming off as the queen of swords towards this emperor, okay? <laughs> so, once again, spirit may be telling somebody to respect your... See, because that go that empress, see? Because what spirit is telling you, here it is again, that you're going to have to humble. You're going to have to make changes just like you expect your emperor to. Because with that queen of swords, maybe y'all may have said something harsh. Maybe you spoke your truth, but once again, you you got that feminine energy. Don't use your feminine energy. What what is wait a minute? What's the song? She doesn't use her love to make him weak. She uses love to keep him strong. That's it, god dang it. She don't use her love to break him. She uses her love to build him up. So it's almost like you're gonna have to learn. That's why it says respect your relationship. Because if it's anything that you really desire to have, Scripture, you're going to have to do the work too. If you're going to have to do the work. You're going to have to be a better person or you're going to have to handle, you're going to have to handle things on a more loving, feminine way, a more softer way. Because once again, Spirit is steady showing you because that Queen of Swords ain't, ain't going to play with you now. <laughs> you may need counseling if you're dealing with a Scorpio Queen of Swords. So like I say, you got the Emperor. It's like, it's like, let your, look. Once again, you're going through a major transformation here too. Something can transform, but you're going through a major transformation too. It's almost like once again, spirit may be teaching you how to get what you want in a loving way so that, so that, so that the vibration can stay peaceful. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, once again, we just so trained that if things don't go our way, we tear everything down. We just, we, it's like, it's like the response. You gotta, you gotta still love them. You still have to show the love is what spirit is saying. Because love does conquer all. Because I feel like if you're willing to do that, and for some of y'all, that's what you're doing, you're going to make this person love you, and you're going to bring out the best in them. But it's almost like you, sometimes you got to let a man be a man. If you can be in this empress energy where you're you're confident now, like I say, the only way you're going to be feel confident and just allow people to be, and, and your response is going to, you know, like I said, if you feel like people doing some shady stuff, you as that empress Governed by that high priestess energy. And you got temperance. It's the, 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 look, once again, Scorpio, all of the good stuff come through you. Seems like you're external. They're dealing with the tough stuff. But you got the nurturing energy that can bring the calm to any storm. You're surrounded with everything you need to calm your masculine down and make them submit. It's not making them, but it's like luck can do a lot when you're soothing them and you're building them, you're nurturing them as opposed to, because we know that you can be that stinger. Once you get the stinger, it's, 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 it's <laughs> no coming back. So you, so what Spirit is telling you, respect your relationship, pull your feminine energy, uh, claim your power, and, and use your femininity uh, for you. Because if you play, if you play your cards right, <laughs> if you play your cards right, boo, you can get it. Because see, there's a lot of regret here. Five of Cups, Seven of Swords, Temperance. What's up with this Empress? Again, could be dealing with the Libra, Scorpio, Aries, Pisces, Capricorn, Leo. What's up with this Empress? Pisces, C. Ace of Swords, maybe someone is, C. Someone may be refusing to see the truth. Now, I feel like what it is, and there go the tower. And you know what y'all may be realizing, the reason why y'all keeping up a guard like you do with that Queen of Swords is because y'all in love with this person. So for some of y'all, Scorpio, well, how, if you're the feminine side of the relationship, you've probably been trying to fight this. And for some of you guys, you are in that Queen of Swords energy where you shouldn't be in that Five of Swords energy. But it's almost like if somebody hurt you, you're going to tear them down. That, that tower card right there. For some of you guys, you're fighting the fact that you're in love. So you're responding like a, 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 a like somebody that, that don't know that they're the empress. And you're pushing your masculine away. But you can also pull your masculine back in and heal your own relationship. You can. But you got to be willing to work on it. You do. You got to be willing to open up. 
You got to be, it's like, it's like you have to constantly be working on yourself and looking at things from other perspective. And, and that is if you really are in love because that Queen of Cups came here because you can also bring healing to yourself. So why is a page of wands here? I feel like both parties are not giving much of anything. It could be a time where you guys need to let your guards down and go back to your childlike energy. See, someone is not rushing in. Someone is not making a move. But someone needs to see. And there go the page of cups and the lovers. See? It's like everybody's too busy focusing on what happened in the past. They go to five of cups instead of focusing. So I feel like the masculine is too busy worried about his money. Because crowning that emperor is that nine of pentacles. Crowning that empress is that high priestess. So we know the feminines, they, they tap into spiritual things when they're going through. But the masculines follow their 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 earthly things, all right? But it's, it doesn't it doesn't fill that void. So like I say, that's why y'all steady running after each other lifetime after lifetime after lifetime because you still haven't gotten it. Because if we're still at the point where we're doing eye to an eye for an eye towards somebody we claim we love, then we ain't learning. Because yeah, it's easy. Hear me, y'all. It's easy. It is so easy to treat people how they treat you and then some. Whether it's good or bad, but who, it, who, who continuously gives someone and treats someone based on the genuine love? Because if you're really in love, that's going to make you watch your mouth, watch your temper, watch all of those things. So it's, it's like Scorpio 101, I'm telling you. Spirit trying to help you get your man. Spirit trying to help you get your woman. But you cannot let the past things, if you feel like you can't get over, lead this person life. Don't look at that. Move on. Because we all have to change. And it's all about our, our self-discovery. And no one can get us there. It has to be a, a conscious decision on an individual level. And now I feel like you may have, you know, gave this person a piece of your mind or pushed them away because maybe they were being selfish. Maybe they didn't want to offer nothing. But... For some of y'all, maybe this person is reconsidering because they're going to the Ten of Cups. Because you got the King of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Scorpio? Scorpio, the Nine of Pentacles. I'm telling you, this is November 101, Scorpio. That's what it is. Because that Queen of Swords can tear you down. But with that, like I said, I told you how it is. It could be, could be different for different people. But that's what I'm seeing because once again, it says past life relationships. We reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. So y'all have been chasing after each other over and over again, trying to figure out how to do it. Then you got signs. It says, watch out for signs leading you to true love. I feel like the universe is trying to get someone's attention. It says, true love comes when you least expect it. But here it is again. Respect your relationship. See? Once again, when people get mad, all that love stuff go out the window, don't it? You start getting spiteful. You start wanting your stuff back. And, you know, you know, forget them. You know, I'm just saying that that'll bring some mess out of folks. You'll really find out who you're dealing with. But even though you may find out that you may be dealing with somebody here who needs to heal, I feel like a person can heal because people can change. That is, if if it's just, just because you're dealing with emotional issues but if you just an evil hearted person there's a difference because i know you love it because you got the queen of cups here with the emperor showing up twice but you're gonna have to learn how to handle that anger is what i see because like i'm telling myself too all right so let's see because you got so much love surrounding you so many opportunities there's a there's definitely a lot of a physical attraction here nine of pentacles why is the nine of pentacles here because i know i can be hard on people but that's just the um see <laughs> <coughs> nine of pentacles um, your yeah, nine of pentacles look the king of cups see three of wands two of wands page of wands there go that page of wands again see I'm telling you it's like somebody not making big steps but it's almost like somebody's alright it's like they single if this could be somebody trying to turn their back on this connection, could be somebody also waiting. Especially if you've been in and out. Oh, and look who it is. It's the emperor. See? It's that emperor. For some of y'all, y'all could be this single person. See? Because, see, they, they cocky. It's like somebody here has been trying to take control over their emotions here. See? 
look, this person came out. Look at that. Nine of Pentacles. Cause somebody was something else. Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups, Three of Wands, the Emperor, the King of Wands, and the King of Swords in the reverse. This is all your person here. Look at them. See, they was a mess. <laughs> so I feel like y'all probably gave a piece of y'all man with that Queen of Swords. <laughs> But Spirit said you can't win a person that, like this. You can, you're not going to be able to win a person like this because they're already arrogant. This person could be, you know, financially stable. But this person, underneath all of that origamara, underneath all of that marigamara, this person still got love for you or is in love with you, see? But I feel like somebody's not wanting to be open and available to this. So, yeah, somebody's definitely been li listening to their ego. They've been listening to your ego, but spirit has been talking, dealing with you with this high priestess. And then it could be them trying to tap in spiritually and see what's really going on. This could be what somebody is hiding here. Somebody could be hiding the fact that they love you. Ace of Pentacles looking. There go Justice. There go Libra. I feel like somebody wants to make it right. Why is this... uh? The high priestess here. What's going on with the high priestess? I feel like just as you're getting another opportunity, some type of beautiful opportunity is coming your way that's going to be balanced and reciprocated. See, it could be someone here who does not want to let this go completely. Eight of cups in reverse or who hasn't walked away completely. There go the six of pentacles. Somebody's coming in to be generous towards a connection with you. I feel like somebody is looking at things from higher perspective. This is like it's like these major realizations, things coming to the light. Uh, you can no longer push it to the surface. Things are coming out in the open where people are gonna have to deal with it one way or the other. And I feel like you're gonna and I feel like the reason why these relationships are gonna be like this is so you cannot run. You gotta be mature. But I feel like this can bring some healing in to you too. Because I feel like something had to come all the way down with the tower. And it could also be somebody may have this major realization here. Somebody could be realizing they want this or they need to change or they're in love. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Scorpios? Clarify the Ten of Cups. Family moving in together. A place of love. Home. Dreams. Family. See? Ace of Cups, ooh, Ace of Cups, King of Pentacles, I mean, Queen of Pentacles, see? And there is the Knight of Wands. I feel like this is somebody here who is attracted to you too, because you got the lovers here with the King of Pentacles, see? And there go that freaking Ten of Pentacles, there it is. There go the Ten and Ten again. So for some of y'all, like, I feel like you can actually have it all with this person, but you're going to have to do things. And, and look, it's not personal. It's to grow you up. You got the empress and you are amazing. Because some of y'all may not even be doing right by yourself as the empress. But you definitely are here to make a transformation, a major change. Because the empress ain't going to tear you down when things don't go. She's going to love you back to health. And there go the Eight of Pentacles, working things out, temperance, temperance, could be a Sagittarius. And, and, and I'm saying, you know, you could have an Empress that's damaged too. See, temperance, somebody, somebody, like I said, somebody could be going out a lot. You could be having a lot of invitations out. There go the Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups. It could also represent your, your patience is going to be rewarded if you respect this connection and if you do this or you do that. It's almost like if you can be patient and hold it together, something is coming in. They go to Knight of Cups because that's the Temperance card or somebody's going to come back around here because that Temperance, you got two cups. See, and there it is again. The Ten of Cups, see? And the Ace of Wands just keeps on coming out. Now you got the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like things are not working out now because everybody needed to step back and, and look and look at things differently here. Because like I said, when you're in a relationship and the feelings get invested, everybody start pointing the finger at everybody. But that's not going to help because it's going to have you focus on all the things that went wrong. And I ain't saying that you don't have a right to move on to something new, but you don't want, you want to, you're going to have to learn because once again, like you say, you're going to keep on running to the same energy over and over and over again. 
So that's why we have to learn the lessons and actually apply them. We're going to have to. Other than that, we're going to keep on doing the same old thing. Right? And it, it ain't even got to be the same uh, appearance, but it's going to be the same lesson. While spirit is trying to guide you to true love, you're going to have to be willing to put in the work too, Scorpios. Because if you're dealing with an emperor, you're dealing with a boss. But God dang it, you're the empress too. So both parties need to learn. And if both of y'all can swallow your pride or do that inner work, you got to do your own shadow spiritual work. You will be more receptive to receive somebody loving you. And you and, and, and when things don't go right, you'll handle them in a loving way. And I feel like this person will too. And if anything, if, if, if for only just to create good karma, then you're going to have an opportunity to rewrite your destiny or rewrite your karma. Because if you've tore each other down, if you did everything negatively in a relationship, you got the opportunity to repair what was once broken down. And that could lead to something. It could lead to, to something serious. So why is the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse for Scorpios? See, they go to Hermit card. See, soul searching. I feel like somebody is too busy behind the scenes working on themselves. And I feel like that's what everybody needs to do. Tap in, you know, don't go outside yourself trying to look for something. They go to Page of Pentacles. Now, somebody could be thinking that um, maybe they didn't offer more. Somebody, like I say, soul search and see, because somebody going to be enlightened after this. So that's what it's going to bring. It's going to bring somebody out of the illusions, out of the, delu the, the, the delusions. See? Somebody's looking for the right pair here. See, they go temperate, they go Sagittarius. See, because once again, there it is, the wheel. Lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. Y'all have been doing this with this person, okay? You don't remember it, but this is what the cause is saying because they're your true love. And you can experience the true love in this relationship, but you're going to have to play your cause, right, Scorpio? Because you can have it because little do you know, y'all already bound each other anyway. So some of y'all need to act like it. That's what that empress ain't scared, y'all. I'm telling you, this is Scorpio's Love Vember 101. Ooh, Scorpio, I'm going to end it. Please like, share, and subscribe.